avenges himself. Historical characters coming back to life isn't just happening in Hollywood movies like Night at the Museum. It's also happening right here at Miami Dade College's Wolfson campus. Thanks to the passionate teaching of historian Dr. Paul George, students enrolled in his History of South Florida class get to see a side of Miami that perhaps they never seen before. He does it by taking them outside of the classroom and giving them a historical night in Miami. The building here is the reason why I wanted to bring you over here. This building was probably the first freestanding high school in all of Miami. This was the first or the original freestanding Miami Senior High School. Dr. George incorporates walking tours of Miami within the syllabus of his class. That was a Southern Methodist church over there. One week the group is in class and the other they're touring the streets by riding the Metro Mover. Labor negotiations. And learning the history behind very common names around town. This became surplus, as it were in the 1980s when a new fire station opened just behind the schoolhouse we were in. If we could have walked behind that schoolhouse up that ridge there was a fire station, a completely nondescript building compared to this beautiful Mediterranean style. But in fact, let's walk over here and take a look at the entranceway to this building. This is a class that I just kind of live for each semester because almost everybody's here, virtually everybody's here because they want to be here in the class. And it just, it thrills me to death. And it's such a, as you said, an eclectic group of people. We don't have tonight with us two of the physicians that are in this class. A judge is in this class, but we have an attorney, some school teachers, realtor, uh, a former uh, uh, CBS4 weatherman. I mean, it's just a gamut. We've got an elderly gentleman here who uh, actually was in World War II, and he keeps up with all these tours. He's a teacher, so it's it's been great. It's you know I'm just really thrilled to be able to teach a class again, and I have to kind of created each semester. Returning student and local Miami attorney Devra Matthews Miami took this class 12 years ago when she first moved to Miami. Miami. And even though she took the class as a non-credit course, Miss Matthews decided to enroll in the course one more time. Through this class it is not boring. First of all, he is so enthused about his subject that you pick up the enthusiasm for him, with him. Also, he not only if someone at raises a question, he'll digress and, and talk about that, you know, whatever the subject is interesting, you know, that person's interested in, and then he'll come back and talk about the class again. He has maps, he has props, he shows a film at the end of the, uh, the last class, and it's all about Miami, and also you get to go on field trips, so you actually see the places that you talk about. So it's really neat, because when he talks about, this is where the Brickles lived. We saw where the Brickles were buried up until the 1940s. This is where the uh, Julia Tuttle lived. This is where her house was. Her son built these types of houses, and so we walk all over Miami and different areas of Miami, and you really get to know the area really, really well. Business major and Miami native Alex Maruri's mother took the class a couple of years ago. His mom really enjoyed Dr. George's teaching skills and found the class to be extremely interesting. So when it was Alex's turn to take a required history course, he took his mom's advice and enrolled. I was just interested in uh, the, our history of uh, Miami becoming a city and I just feel like some people in Miami and Florida in general just uh, don't really know about, about our history and I was just uh, intrigued by that. Well, I want to showcase this marvelous city uh, to people who live here and also the class includes um, a lot of focus on the Everglades, the Florida Keys, Broward County. I've done a lot of writing and research in Broward County history, so that comes into it also. But the tours are essentially here. And uh, what the class means to me is it's an opportunity really to showcase this great place. And a lot of people come away from the class saying, God, I didn't know that. Or many people have told me, you know, I've become my own tour guide. When my relatives coming from out of town, I know enough about it now where I can take them through the area and explain things to them. So it makes me feel real good. For Miami Dade College in Focus, I'm Shanina Vélez. Second, Second Street and Third Avenue, and the building they vacated.